can someone please buy some of these because they are overflowing and I keep walking into them. So I get comments all the time asking how much my rats cost or saying you have a lot of pets, they must cost you a fortune and honestly I have no idea. It's not something that I regularly monitor or keep track of and I recognise that it's a really privileged position to be in but I don't live beyond my means and make sure that every single animal I've got I can afford worst case scenario so I've just never had a reason to track it. But I thought it might be interesting to share with you every single thing that I spend or buy my pets in one entire month. So this is what I spent on them in April. So I realised pretty early on into this, if I was to just share with you what I bought in April, it wouldn't really be accurate to how much I actually spend on the pets and how much they cost me because I do buy a lot of things in bulk, things like the cat food, the rat bedding, the rat food, a lot of what I did buy back in March and that will last me a good couple of months so it wouldn't really be accurate if I didn't share those figures too. I worked out how much they would cost me if I was buying them every single month and we'll start with that. So starting with my cat Hubble, I'm quite lucky with most of my pets. I can get most of their food and accessories from wholesalers just because of my job and that does tend to make things a lot cheaper so for his food it costs about £1.30 per day and that's about £39.87 a month. Then he also has his insurance every single month and annoyingly this has gone up a fair bit. That is £16.23 a month. Then of course we have his cat litter. I just use a really cheap one and this is about £1.99 per bag and I go through maybe two bags a month so about £4 on cat litter. So that is pretty much it for Hubble. I don't tend to buy him toys on a monthly basis because he has a big basket already that he barely touches and uh, treats. He is still working his way through all of the treats my family bought him for Christmas so that's not an expense either. So then of course we have my reptiles and my inverts and uh, my millipedes cost me literally nothing on a monthly basis to keep. Of course there is electricity for their heat map but I am not about to sit here and work out how much of my bill actually goes towards heat sources. I just don't have the brain power for that so that is not an expense although I don't think it's a big one. Then of course we have my leopard gecko orbit and of course she has things like UVB, her heat lamp, LED, all of that is costing me something that I have no idea but in terms of actually feeding her and keeping her alive every single month she of course has to have feeder insects and I bought a bunch of doobie roaches the other day, I think there was like 50 in the pack and that cost me about £7.50 but she's not going to eat all of those in one month. I'd say between different feeder insects, maybe about two to three pounds every single month that she will eat. She obviously has to have other things, things like supplements on her food. I did buy big bags of those last year and I've got a bunch of that left so that's more so a one-off yearly cost that I'm not really going to count. Then we have my African egg eating snake Rue. She is pretty simple, every single month all she has to have is quail eggs and we spent £3.35 on a pack that will last her about a month. And lastly is my giant African ant snail slushy. Pretty simple, just eating fruits and vegetables that we are buying for ourselves regardless so I don't really count that as an added cost. Things like peppers, carrots, salad leaves, all of that we're buying anyway so the only thing that we don't personally eat that is bought specifically for the snail is things like courgette and I'd say he goes through maybe two of those every single month so about a pound. Oh my snail also gets a protein mix from Etsy it's about two pounds a bag he definitely doesn't go through that entire bag in a month so maybe a pound's worth of that so two pounds on the snail. Then we have the cost of the rats and the mice and this one was the hardest to work out because there's so many different components but we'll start with our bedding. So the bedding I use is called Orbios and this tends to be about £12 a bag if I go to a local horse store. Sometimes I am lazy and I just get it off of Amazon and it's about £20 on there I think but most months I am good. I will go to a local farm or horse shop and it's about £12 a bag and that will last me the entire month. I'll tend to use half a bag with the rats and half a bag with the mice. I do also use other types of beddings mixed in, things like shredded cardboard or hay and I've not written down how much I paid for those but it's not very much and I don't use that much compared to the Orbeos. I'd say with all of that included I probably spend about £15 on bedding total every single month for the rats and also the mice. And then it was time to work out how much I spend on food for the rats and the mice every single month 
And this was really tricky because I do make their own food myself and there's so many components and ingredients involved in this. But it was quite difficult so the easiest way that I could think to do this was to make a very very simple mix based on just one round of the Shunamite diet and then work out based on percentages and how much of the food I was using for each different section and also how many animals I was feeding so at the time of me working this out this was to feed five rats and five mice based on how much they should be having every single day for a month and just to do one round of the Shunamite diet I think it lasted me about two weeks and then obviously I doubled that to make a month so I hope that makes sense. I confused myself <laughs> during this entire process but I made it very very simple. Obviously usually I'll bulk make a lot more of this so it lasts me a lot longer and I'm not making it all the time and of course I do add in a lot more ingredients in the different sections just to give them a bit more variety but for the sake of this video I made it very very simplified just to make it easier to work out how much it generally costs. So the first thing that goes in is their base mix. For this I just use Harrison's Banana Brunch and this is about £22.64 on Amazon. I'd say maybe I use 20% of the bag every single month just to guess and that would be about £4.50 on the base mix every single month. Then the next thing to go in is a good quality dog food. These are quite expensive, they're about £9.99 for a small bag but I don't use all of this. I'd say maybe about £2 worth of this every month. Then when I'm making the mouse food separate I will also add a bit more protein and I tend to do this in the form of dried mealworms. These are about £1.50 for a bag and I maybe use half of that, so about 75p a month on those. Then we have the whole cereal grain section for this. I probably spend about £1.20 on cereals and maybe 70p on pastas and grains. Then for the herb section I use an entire bag of the nature salad and these are £3.75. Then for the seed section of the rat mix and also the mouse mix, these tend to be about £2.50 for a bag and I'll use about one bag in a month. So based on the way that I worked this out, and I could be entirely wrong because maths is not my strong point, to feed five rats and five mice for a month on a very very basic mix is £15.40. Of course I probably spend a bit more than this because I do add other ingredients, but generally it costs me around that mark to feed five rats and five mice for a month. They do also get things like treats and malt paste that I will just take from my store. They don't go through these very often, I'd say maybe £2, £3 on treats every single month on top of their food as well. But I think that's everything when it comes to the general cost of caring for my pets on a monthly basis. If I forgot anything I apologise but let's move on to the random things I spent money on in April. So the first thing that I have written down is I spent £7.22 at one of my wholesalers and that was for a grass hut for the rats and a bag of cork granules that I wanted to try with the mice and I don't know how much they were individually but together I spent £7.22. Then I've also written down that I spent 59p on a candle from the card factory and that was for Pudding's birthday so technically for him, more so for myself because I wanted to take a cute picture but kind of for the rats. Then we have all of Crumble's medical expenses. I spent £86.94 on a consultation to trim his teeth and also for all of his heart medications and those medications tend to last about a month. Next up I bought a tiki hut for the mice. I'll put a picture of what this looks like on screen and that was £3.33. At this point in the month I obviously decided that Hubble's breath stunk and I spent £8.29 on a special toothpaste and £1.99 on a finger toothbrush. Spoiler alert, he still hates me touching his teeth, but I'm trying my best. I then also bought the rats a new hanging basket to go on their tree in free roam, and this was £5. I also decided now was a good time for Hubble to get a new collar. He still has the one that he had when he was a kitten, and it still fits, but it's getting a bit disgusting, so now was time to get a new one, and he's getting a fancy one from Etsy that's coming from Greece, I think, and that was £12.56. I then also bought a couple of things for the wrap mix but the price of those is included in the monthly cost of the mix if that makes sense but I'll tell you anyway so I bought a £9.99 bag of dog food, I spent £2.90 on lentils and 65p on cereal and for the grand finale this one is a lot, obviously I was feeling like spoiling myself and the wraps and obviously this is a one-off, I have not done this in about four years I have bought a new rat cage 
and that was £295 and of course as soon as it arrives I'll have a video coming on that very soon. Well that is how much I spent on my pets in the month of April, I'll put the total somewhere here on screen. Obviously with the rat cage included that is an obscene amount of money but if we take that out I don't think it's too bad, I don't tend to spend too much on a monthly basis. I was expecting April to be a bit more interesting but we had a bit more of a quiet month and when it comes to the general costs I don't think it's as much as some people expect for the amount of animals that I have. Maybe I'm wrong, obviously everything is relative and if you're a student that doesn't have any source of income that is going to be a fair bit of money for you but I don't think it's as much as some people expect. Let me know if I'm wrong but that is how much I spent on my pets in April. I hope it's been interesting and insightful especially if you're not too sure how much rats or mice or leopard geckos tend to cost on a monthly basis. This is how much that I have spent. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!